Hello there, and welcome to the Pets of Plenty channel. Making a selection between the Dogue de Bordeaux and the Doberman can be pretty challenging, as both breeds are outstanding in their unique ways. We understand this challenge, so don't worry. As usual, we've got you covered here on Pets of Plenty. Today on the channel, we've gathered all the helpful information about these breeds to help you make the ultimate choice on the dog which gets that particular spot in your home with a nine-round battle that covers all aspects of life, from their history to their health. Before we continue though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets of Plenty membership after clicking the join button. All right, here we go. The Dog der Bordeaux versus the Doberman. Let's start the fight. Round one, history. The dog may have originated in France thousands of years ago with the Mastiff, the Tibetan Mastiff, the Neapolitan Mastiff, and the Greek Mastiff as potential distant ancestors. Popular legend holds that the progenitors of the dog were brought to France by Julius Caesar's invading soldiers in the 1st century BC. The Romans used huge Mastiff types as military dogs and fierce gladiators, pitting them against other canines and wild animals in the arena. The breed has been around for a long time. Therefore, they've outlived their usefulness as fighting dogs and have instead been put to work as hunters, drafters, and security dogs at different points in history. By the end of the 1700s, they had become commonplace as guard dogs on aristocratic manners' expansive grounds. The Toberman Pincher dates back to the 19th century. They were developed by Apolda's tax collector and dog breeder, Louis Doberman. His goal was to raise a guardian dog who was both fearsome and trustworthy, someone who he could take with him where wherever he went. The modern Doberman Pinscher is a bigger, less polished variant of the original dog created by Doberman. The new variant reportedly includes traits from the German Pinscher, Rottweiler, smooth-coated herding dogs, and the Black and Tan Terrier. Doberman Pinschers have a reputation for success in dog shows because of their powerful appearance and confident demeanor. Doberman Pinschers joined the American Kennel Club in 1908. Since then, they've become one of the most popular working breeds in the United States. We're off to a good start as both breeds get one point each for their history, one for the Doge and one for the Doby. Round 2 Appearance the Doga de Bordeaux is a giant, courageous guardian with fawn coats that are short and striking. Dogs are stocky and low to the ground, yet they can leap like lions when duty requires. They may grow to be 110 pounds and 27 inches tall. As a percentage of body size, it has the most enormous head of any dog breed. In keeping with the bulldog stereotype, the enormous head has an undershot jaw, large, expressive eyes, and a furrowed brow. Regarding Mastiff-type guard dogs, the dog is among the most formidable. Dobermans are often regarded as the aristocracy of the dog world due to their aristocratic wedge-shaped head and graceful athletic gait. The shiny coat may be black, blue, red, or fawn with rust markings, and the physique is sleek yet robust. Dobermans are small dogs that stand between 24 and 28 inches at the shoulder and are known for their speed, agility, and power. Even the most naive invader may be scared away by a well trained Doberman on patrol. In the pantheon of the finest guard dogs in the world, this breed proudly takes its place, earning a reputation for intrepidity, vigilance, and the point for this round. This brings us to two points to one for the dog. Round 3 Temperament the Bordeaux is known for its pleasant and even demeanor. He's an excellent watch and security dog since he's fearless and aggressive towards strangers. DDBs with the right temperament are kind and caring dogs. They have a remarkable dedication to their loved ones and are known for their unwavering loyalty and patience. The Dog de Bordeaux may seem fierce, but he's kind and patient with his family. To be clear, this is only a dog for a person with prior experience with large breeds. Early socialization prevents him from developing an aggressive disposition towards other canines. It's essential to socialize him extensively with other animals at a young age. Doberman Pinchers are hyperactive and highly clever. They can take immediate action if they sense danger approaching their family. Still, they won't resort to violence until absolutely necessary. The breed is devoted to its family and enjoys playing and laughing. Meeting the dog's parents, siblings, or other relatives might provide insight into the dog's potential personality as an adult. The dog and the Adobe have unique personalities, and they get a point each for this round. Three points to two for the dog, guys. It's getting interesting. 
Round 4. Socialization as with other breeds, early socialization is essential for your Dog de Bordeaux. You can do this on your own. Bear in mind that you'll need to know what the pros and cons of its training and how long it should take. You'll need to find a place where you can interact with other dogs, ideally ones that have already been taught and socialized. If you have any concerns about socializing and learning basic instructions, seek the help of a professional. These sessions are ideal for introducing your puppy to new people and environments. A puppy that has never been exposed to other animals or humans will become an antisocial adult dog. Through social interaction, one learns polite behavior and compassion for all living things. Like other dogs, the Dobie benefits significantly from early socialization. During this time, they are introduced to various people, places, things, and activities. Your Dobie puppy will develop into a balanced adult dog with proper socialization. Properly bred Dobermans are lovely pets and companions for their human families. As long as they've had a chance to socialize and teach their kids, he's good with them and will look out for them. These breeds respond adequately to early socialization and are excellent family pets. They get one point each for this round. And we're now at four points to three for the Doke. Round 5. Grooming the short coat of the dog constantly sheds throughout the year. Still, you may minimize the amount of hair on the floor using a rubber curry or a shedding blade. About once every four weeks, the breed needs a complete bath. Ears should be checked and cleaned at least once a week for dirt and infection. Regular nail care includes a monthly trim. This breed is notorious for its profuse salivation, and the wrinkles on its face need particular care at least once a week. Grooming the dog is a little more challenging than other breeds. The Doberman is a relative wash and wear breed but still benefits from regular maintenance to look its best. His coat can be kept healthy and lustrous by giving it a quick once over with a short bristled brush or grooming mitt every day. The frequency of his bathing needs is low, however, he needs general body and dental care to thrive. Grooming the Doberman is more accessible than the Bordeaux, so the point for this round goes to the Dobie. The scoreboard shows 5 points to 3 for the Doke. Round 6 Exercise these breeds are high-energy athletes that require plenty of time outside to run about and play. Swimming is an excellent kind of exercise for the Bordeaux regardless of age. Long, daily walks or hikes with his owner are something a Doberman will look forward to. Obedience, tracking, and agility are just a few examples of canine activities that may be enjoyed by both dog and owner. Light exercise should be their only option to protect the young Bordeaux's growing skeleton and joints until they're 18 months old. Old. They shouldn't be made to run up and down stairs or leap off of anything higher than their back since this might cause them to overexert themselves and lead to serious injury. Giving one point each to one of these high energy breeds brings us to six for the Doby and four for the Doke. Round 7 Training DDBs require early training as they do socialization. If this isn't correctly done when they're puppies, the dog may become obstinate and take control. Because of its high level of sensitivity, the dog de Bordeaux is not suited to be trained by someone harsh or overbearing. Instead, he requires an owner who is both kind and authoritative, someone who always acts with assurance and consistency. On the other hand, Dobermans are very bright, fast to learn and react, and a lot of fun to have around the house. However, they are potent canines that, if not trained correctly, may become aggressive, destructive, and uncontrolled. Puppies need early and consistent socialization and obedience training. Also highly suggested are puppy training lessons. Both breeds need early training to become well-rounded dogs, so let's give them one point each. It's now seven points to five for the dog. Round 8. Diet and Nutrition the health of both breeds depends on how they're fed a high-quality diet through their lives. A breeder or veterinarian may recommend a food suitable for any of them. You also have to find out what kinds of human foods can be fed to your dog and what kinds can't. If you must provide your pet with leftovers, do it carefully and carefully around heated bones and fatty foods. If you're worried about your dog's nutrition or weight, it's best to see a doctor. Water that is safe to drink should be readily accessible no matter the breed you choose. They have the same diet and nutrition, so it's one point for everyone. With eight points to six for the dog on the scoreboard, we move to the next round. Are your thoughts the same as ours? Well, never say never until it's over. Round 9. Health while these breeds enjoy overall good health, there are a few illnesses to which they are predisposed. Gastric dilatation and vulvus, sometimes also known as bloat, is a significant health problem.
problem in the Dogue de Bordeaux. The breed also has a history of problems with heart disease, cancer, arthritis, and epilepsy. Dobermans are prone to hip dysplasia, bloating, dilated cardiomyopathy, von Willebrand's disease, progressive retinal atrophy, albinism, and hypothyroidism. Owners must be aware of the warning indications of bloat and the appropriate responses. Informed breeders do medical screenings on their breeding stock to detect these issues. To be safe, avoid buying a dog or puppy from a breeder that hasn't checked their dogs for certain diseases. One point each for being healthy breeds and with nine points to seven for the dog, the Doberman takes the prize for today's contest. We'd love to conclude by saying every human has a choice. When adopting any dog, it's vital to consider your personal needs and the environment. However, it's always worth knowing about the similarities and differences between these breeds. As we mentioned, both breeds can work excellently as pets or companions. This is our evaluation. Remember, yours may be different. In addition, before adopting a dog, do well to seek professional advice from the breeder and your veterinarian. What are your thoughts on today's contest? Let us know in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.